Hello, I'm going to do the Cancer energy reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate, as those may be meant for someone else. All right, I have my Green Witch Tarot, and we're going to look at what you may possibly be struggling with, what you may need to focus on, and possible future energies. All right, what's going on with Cancer Sun? Oh, we had these two pop out. So we have the star, we have the knight of wands. What does cancer need to look at? We have the king of wands and we have the queen of cups. And we have the nine of swords, possible future energies. Look at that, nine of cups. We don't even want any more than that, right? Bottom of the deck, we have number 14, the Sid He, which is those little fairies that are around here. And that represents temperance, patience, right? Waiting for your nine of cups to come in. And that could be, you know, very frustrating. And maybe that's why you have this nine of swords is that you're worrying about things. But when we worry about those things, that sometimes it's just, it makes the weight harder. And I know it's, it's, you know, if we could just flip that switch and say, okay, I'm turning off that nine of swords. I don't want a nine of swords. I don't want to worry. I don't want to stress. I don't want to have anxiety. I don't want to be emotional. Um, I don't want to be in that energy if you could just, you know, and then just enjoy the ride until you get to the nine of cups. I mean, that would be so much easier, but I feel like it's, you know, it's not, it's easier said than done. You can't just flip that switch. Um, so what you may possibly be struggling with is, like I was saying, is waiting for that nine of cups, which is coming in, in this future energy, you know, the star card, that hope, that direction, that guidance, that moving forward, like moving towards better things, moving towards that nine of cups, that you're having frustration, that things aren't happening, things aren't falling in place. But I feel like what you need to look at with this king of wands is what's going on right now around you, that maybe there's something else that you need to focus on. Maybe there's another step like like I what I'm seeing is like somebody at the bottom of a staircase right but there's a bunch of stairs that are missing um and in order for you to get say there's say there's like you're at the bottom and there's four steps that are missing and you can't get to that fifth step and you're having that frustration you're having that nine of of swords and you're having that queen of cups that emotions and you're like I can't get there I can't get there but it's like looking at, okay, instead of being that energy of that frustration of I can't get to the fifth step, looking at how, what do I use, what tools do I have, what materials do I have to build steps to get to the fifth step, if that makes any sense. What is it that I need to look at right now, right? If you're at the bottom of the of the the landing and you're like okay what's around me what do i see what do i have to use so i feel like that's you too looking around what is around you what do you have to learn from what do you have to grow from right what is there's something else that you need to focus on first before you can get to this nine of cups right you have to build those other steps that get to the fifth step you have to build steps one two three and four in order to continue on right to get to that nine of cups and the nine of cups could be wishes dreams fulfillment emotions just feeling happier feeling successful um, feeling fulfillment um, it could be you know the nine of cups could be anything because cups are emotions and feelings that happiness that contentment um, but I feel that there's something that you have to look at right now that you looking at how you're worrying you can't Worrying about things doesn't change it. And there's something else that you have to see. There's something else that you have to look at. All right, so let's, what is this star in the Knight of Wands for Cancer sign? We have the King of Wands and we have the Eight of Pentacles. There's something that you have to take a closer look at. We have the King of Wands again. There's something that you have to, there's, could be something from your past that you have there's some kind of there's something that you're carrying around there's some kind of energy that you're carrying around there's some kind of thought or there's something from your past that's bothering you that you haven't let go of I feel there's something that you're holding up there's some sort of blockage within you so 
I feel like you may not even realize that there is a blockage there. But I feel like it's, that's, that's those missing steps that are there, right? That's, you're carrying something around with you that you have to release. There, there's some kind of frustration, something from the past. Yeah, Page of Swords, hello. There's, but I feel like it's from the past, some frustration about something that did or didn't happen in the past that you haven't dealt with it, but you're feeling it inside and it's creating a blockage in you. And it's how do you get past, learning about the truth of a situation. I feel like there's a situation that happened and you don't know the truth of what really happened. There may be something that happened that you never found out what really happened and that you were assuming something or there may be something around you that comes to the surface, f f bubbling up, bubbling up. For some reason, I feel like something coming to the surface. Um, it could just be emotions, feel, uh, hurt. Um, there's some sort of blockage there. Working on it. Something that you have to work on. Something that you have to see. Something that you have to work on. And I feel like... That's what I was saying is working on building those first four steps before you can get to the fifth step and continue on. And that's how you have to see it. Um, it could be a relationship that you're in, that you're struggling in right now, that you're struggling with, a friendship, a partnership, a um, family member. I feel like it's, it's a relationship that you're struggling with, but there's something from the past that you have to work on. Whether it has to do with that person or not, I'm not sure. And I feel like once you work on this Page of Swords, the High Priestess, the Queen of Swords, this thing that you're feeling inside, this over here, this energy, this right here, something you have to take a closer look at. And maybe it was something that you had an argument with a person or there was a disagreement or something ha happened and you said that you forgave that person but inside you really haven't. That inside it's still kind of there's some resentment in there and you're trying to convince yourself that you're past it, but you're really not six of swords. And it's, it, it's been causing friction between the two of you. And I feel like you don't even realize how it's causing, how much it's causing friction between you and that person or you and you and achieving this nine of cups. Maybe you've been trying to keep yourself busy. You've been trying to focus on other things. You've been trying to do other things and not and to say, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. But really, you're not fine. It's, it's something within you that you're holding on to that you haven't let go of and you haven't fully processed. Something that keeps coming back to you that you think, oh, I've moved past it. But I feel like for some reason you keep being reminded of it. Yeah. Death card, something that you're holding on to that's preventing you from moving forward. Um, ten of Wands, it's exhausting you, but I feel like tens are also completions. So we have the Ten of Wands over here with what you're struggling with and that you're carrying it around and it needs to be released. And I feel like over here, after you've gone through this death card here, where you finally let it go, you're finally able to release it. You're finally able to see it, that you work through it, and you deal with it, and you process it. Then you're definitely, you're exhausted, right? Because he's kind of kneeling down there. But now I feel like because you've done that, then we have the Ace of Swords, which is, is a new thought process. It's a new direction, right? That you're building those steps in order to reach the fifth step so that you can continue on your journey to your Nine of Cups. Because it's, it's a clarity. I feel like you find clarity and you find happiness, right? That you, a lightness because you've worked through this. Feeling emotionally better. I, I like this Queen of Cups because she looks, she's very vibrant. She has kind of this smile on her face. She feels, I feel like it's contentment, it's flowiness. Things start to happen for you, right? Things start to happen for you as you're heading towards your Nine of Cups. You're starting to feel more balanced, that you're not 
having this heavy energy that you're carrying around with you. Look at that. I feel that your relationship with this person or people is becoming more fulfilling, that they're almost like they're starting new. And I feel like you're able to start new and build it from here. Building it from this point forward because you're not holding on to that resentment from before. Working on it is something that you have to work on. With this future energy, you have three, two, three of pentacles, and it's something that you have to work on. It's something that you have to make sure that you keep up with so that you don't get yourself into this situation again, so that, so that this doesn't happen again. I feel like it's something that you have to be, you have to be more aware of, of those things that you are doing or that you're keeping or that you're holding on to or when you block energy or when you shut down or when you keep to yourself, that this is something that you have to work on not shutting down, that you have to work on expressing your feelings and expressing your emotions and saying how you feel and not holding on to things and not saying, hey, I feel fine when you really don't because I feel like it's been eating away at you here. Nine of Pentacles, I love it. Nine of Pentacles, those rewards for that work that you're doing, right? The rewards of this process that you've gone through here. But I feel like maybe you've kind of gone through it before or, you, or, you've tried to, or you've tried to ignore it or get past it, but I feel like this time around it's something that it's almost like it's, it starts that process and, and it just keeps going. But... I love this line here because it's work, you've worked past letting that go, right? I love how the death card is here where it's, you're holding on to something that's holding you back, but it also represents transformation and change from that side, right? But transformation and change from this side forward, right? And we have the Ace of Swords and we have the Ace of Cups. That's two new begins. It's emotions, it's balance, things happening in your favor, but also being more aware of those things that you're doing. All right, so let's close out with a Star Dragons. I feel like this one here. We have tranquility, harmonious in, in action, being calm, being still, right? Looking within, listening to yourself, tranquility, calmness. I feel like it's calmness after, right? It's the... It's looking within to find those things that you have to work on or dealing with those things. But then there's this tranquility and this calmness after you've worked through it. You've realized it, that you've let things go, that you're like, oh, I feel so much better, right? This lightness. I was feeling this lightness from releasing this. All right, and then let's get a animal oracle because I love my animal oracle. Turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. Not looking at this as something negative that is coming towards you or that you're having to be put through, but looking at it as an opportunity for you to have that lightness, for you to have that happiness, for you to have that nine of cups, for you to work through these emotions and feelings and these things that, you know, this resentment or this energy that you've been holding on to that's been putting you into this emotional nine of swords. <clears throat> and it's your way of flipping that switch, right? Of working through and reaching out and flipping that switch and trying to turn and turning the nine of swords off. It's all about perspective and how you're seeing it. As you're, if you're seeing this as a challenge and all oh, these things are happening to me and negativity and why does this happen in, your, in that energy, right, then that's what you're going to be in. But if you see it as, okay, this is a challenge where I have to work on it before I can get to my nine of cups, which is, which would be so much more fulfilling because you've worked through this process and you've let, let go of what's holding you back. And the nine of cups seems, and that's what I was saying is that it could just be that emotional fulfillment of feeling happy, feeling lighter, feeling better, <clears throat> finding that tranquility within yourself and those rewards of that. And then you move on forward from there. It's like now you're ready to take on bigger challenges, right? B bigger nine of cups, different nine of cups, right? Pursue those dreams and those goals that you've had that maybe this has been what has been holding you back. 
All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.